imenda yangamba nongo langa imamowa yuko langa njane nieria nongo langa imamowa The islands of the Groot Island archipelago in remote northeastern Arnhem Land are the traditional lands of the Warrandilyakwa people. They are ancient and beautiful places, but they harbour a tragic secret story. It is a secret of shame and blame. It is the story of a struggle of this proud and ancient race with an old and deadly foe. A fatal inherited disease called Mercado Joseph disease. My name is Kayanga Lalara, and this is my country. I am a Wandelyaka woman. Names are important to Aboriginal people. Aboriginal people have names for everything because it is important to identify and understand. When this sickness came to our community many years ago, we didn't know its name or what it was, or how to stop it. We didn't know how to care for our sick people. This sickness did not respect my family and took away two of my sisters and uh, two of my brothers. I have for 15 years cared for two of my sister's children and now I see younger ones in my families are sick. My 14 years old niece is now in a wheelchair. No one was interested in helping my people, especially my families, because their needs were so great, and we blamed ourselves. MJD is a cruel and complex disease, robbing those who have it of their independence and dignity. It occurs in families, often starting in late adulthood, with each child of an affected person at a 50% risk of developing the disease themselves, almost always at an earlier age than their parent. For a clinical geneticist, the condition Mercado Joseph disease is quite fascinating. Not only does it have the standard inheritance pattern for what we call an autosomal dominant disease, if your mother or your father has the condition, there's a 50% chance you'll inherit the gene alteration from them. From a geneticist's point of view, the intriguing thing is that it can be seen in three generations at the same time. This means that as it gets passed down the generations, the disease gets earlier in onset. So we can see, particularly in places like Groot Island, individuals where the grandparent, the parent and the teenage child are all affected at different stages of the disease. This makes it particularly distressing for the families and the community to see such widespread involvement. Well, I thought that, yeah. I thought that it was just only my families at Enrugu had that disease. But when I knew, heard about the other community had that disease too, and even overseas, then um, I felt uh, much, much comfortable hearing that there's other people that had this disease instead of just only my families. Because I used to get, felt shame about it and even not mention about the disease they had or talk to anyone eh, about this disease, that I wanted to just stay away and kept it quite secret because it's made me a little uh, angry and hurt inside me. That's how I felt when I realized that all of my families had this disease. Mercado Joseph disease is probably the most cruel, long-term, slowly progressive neurogenetic disease or paralyzing disease known to man. It's more long-term and more disabling even than multiple sclerosis. 
It kills people slower than motor neurone disease. So it's therefore a huge economic and personal burden on families and carers. More than one person in a family is affected because a carer has to work 24 hours a day to look after a patient. These patients are fully alert, fully with it, but are completely imprisoned in their bodies. So what, what is your favourite team? Okay, where are they based? In Sydney. In Sydney? Yeah. Ah, you're back to Sydney. Is that rugby league or, or, or Aussie rules? Aussie rules. Aussie rules. So this is the Sydney Swans? Yeah. Okay, so Sydney Swans is our favourite team. Ah, they beat yeah. the Brisbane Lions. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> my team. Go. Oh. Happy about that. Yeah. Our community, which is honourable, have led the way in forming this foundation. We will and always will continue to care for our own people. Raising money for the research and equipment and services to, pro to provide the best care for our people, that we can help others in other communities to, to do the same. The incidence of Mercado Joseph disease in these communities is the highest in Australia. In some of the Groot families, carers struggle to support three generations concurrently. It's a terrible story but it's not unique to Groot. The disease also affects four other Arnhem Land communities and occurs on every continent on Earth. What is unique to this remote and isolated region are some formidable barriers to providing high need support, conducting appropriate research and providing quality care. Isolation and distance, combined with complex kinship and language systems, have meant that access to service and facilities found elsewhere will require significant and coordinated resources over many years. And so the MJD Foundation was born. In brief, there is so much that the MJD Foundation can do and will certainly be doing for MJD patients, their families and carers to improve quality of life of MJD sufferers, facilitate and promote quality of services in community and foster research in general. I now know the disease has a name, Magado Joseph disease. Knowing the names of this disease has not stopped it affecting my family and others, but has helped us understand it a little better and now people are helping. We have wheelchairs and ramps in many of our homes and our community has built this HK center. Here, those with a disability and those who care are given respite. When people finish up, they don't have to be in Darwin and away from their country and family. They are supported when they die here in Inrugu. But we don't want our people to suffer from MJD and die unnecessarily. I am pleased people now see the problem and want to help my people who are suffering and find out how to help those who have the disease and those who will get the sickness in the future. And today that I'm proud that we have this foundation of MJD today. And uh, I'm proud of it. That's because everybody recognized both black and white before this not, didn't happen in the past. And I'm just proud that everybody's are helping eh? and uh, recognize this this is this MJD. I thank everybody for, for helping it. Eh?